Welcome back everyone to another video. Today we're playing some more NIMBY Rails and this time uh, we are going to do the Pan American Railway. Instead of a Pan American Highway we're going to do a railway which I'm thinking we're going to run all the way from New, well, New York I'm thinking, New York probably down to Mexico City and then from Mexico City we'll probably go to San Paolo probably around the coast getting off these cities I think that's what we're gonna do to uh, connect up or oh, I might go further and go down to Abiros Aras or however you call it uh, down to Argentina Tina, I might try that but yeah we, I think I'm gonna try and aim for now going from New York all the way down to Rio de Janeiro or San Paolo which one ever one but I think I'm actually gonna start in New Mexico what I think I'm gonna do is start in New Mexico Go through Central America. I'm thinking of going to here and then going up. I know this is the capital of Colombia here, but if I if I do that, I'd have to go straight down and I would have to then curve up for the rest. So I think it's just better to do this and then make another route in the future for that. But yeah, I think I'm going to go from probably here all the way to this place here to start off and then you'll know, connect the other side. So then we have the middle and we can connect the rest up. Well, I finally, we've made it outside of Mexico City. Well, technically this is a different sea. I think this is uh, crossing a big hill, a big mound which we built just uh, one on the ground. But yeah, we've left Mexico City. We've gone into this, whatever city this is here. And then yeah, after this, um, yes, yeah, pretty much, we might go down to Guatemala City. I might, you know, stop off here, you know, Stop off on certain stops on the route. Right, we finally com connected up to Guatemala City, which is already down here, which, you know, is quite a good distance. But yeah, this is gonna take probably a couple of hours to do this whole thing, so um, I better get going. I should also say, I am trying to, with these routes, trying to stick to the ground as much as possible. But sometimes, yeah, you just really can't because there's so many roads. Kind of like this, we can kind of squeeze on through in a straight line. Obviously, I want to keep the speed, so obviously, once in a while, you do have to build a bridge to go across. Right, here's the final, I guess, leg of the middle step, which obviously there's a bit of a U shape here because it's going to turn up and then I think it's going to run through this valley up over here. And continue. I think I'm actually not going to buy it straight away, though. I think I'm going to. Just leave it there for now because I kind of want to once it's all done. I want to see the price and the total mileage Yeah, so far it's 11 billion for this part of the route, which yeah, looking at it, This has taken what? I think this just took an, um, uh, just under an hour about 50 minutes. I think to do this So yeah, doing oh, the rest is a long. This is probably only like 20% of it. Okay We're coming up into this city here with about what? 68k there, that's very good because it's a smaller town. I'm just doing viaduct in it because it probably realistically, uh, you probably could just viaduct there if you got the money. The biggest city is, yeah, you probably need a ton of it, but yeah, we've done uh, some pretty good pros say going through here. Yeah, after this place, yeah, I guess there's Georgetown could stop off. There's not really uh, much else, yeah, yeah, probably Georgetown stop off here. There's not really many other places we can stop off. Um, along the way, it's pretty much almost empty throughout this whole thing here. Uh, even when we get here, how is the, hmm, yeah, see, yeah, there's gonna be quite a lot of places we can stop off. You know, the thing is, it is gonna take me quite a long time, but I guess that's why we're making these, these videos, is because of, uh, yeah, people want to see what a mass review like this would be like. Um, so yeah, better start, better start creating it. Well, we have just reached Sao Paulo in Brazil. We made quite a lot of progress, I would say. It has taken quite a lot of time. We made it all the way around Brazil. I think if we did want to go to uh, Beerus Aras, that'd be another like probably like half an hour, an hour to get down there. Yeah, this was very quick doing this, but once we got down here, there's like a lot of cities and uh, yeah, I think we did good progress. We, we connected a lot of towns. And I think it should be good because of, yeah, all these stations around you, like 120, 160, 188, 89, 120. All these are a lot of people. And also all the towns have done a long way, like Rio de Janeiro. Um, yeah, a lot of these towns here, there's not really that many towns. But when you do get to the big ones, you got a lot of blue areas. So there's a lot of population here. So there's bigger gaps compared to a Central American route. But once you get down to South America, 
yeah, there's a lot more. There's less towns and cities, but there's a, there's more people living in the ones which there is. Yeah, the next step obviously is to go into the United States through Mexico, which is gonna take quite long. Actually, I don't know if it's gonna take as long because of yeah, this has taken very long. I thought it was gonna take less time, but that's maybe because last time we did South Africa over here, which it was a lot quicker, that's mainly I think because a lot of this area here, and even down here, a lot of that was just, it, it was super quick, there was nothing there. There was like a bit of everything everywhere, so it was hard to like thing the roads through. So far, yes, estimated at 40 billion, it's gonna cost 40.6 billion to build this. Hmm, I found an interesting place here, there's literally just this blue square here. It has 172,000 people living here. So I thought, why not build a station in that place? Because that's a lot of people, and I don't know why. I guess you by looking at the roads, it does look like, uh, you know, there must be some rich people here. Looks like they planned it out somewhere well. Yeah, we're making up towards San Antonio next, and then we're going to go to Houston afterwards. Okay, we actually did cross into America a bit ago here, which is good. I am kind of just following this main road through Mexico and then into the United States, this main road to the highway or motorway or whatever, whatever country from, whatever you call it from. Uh, yeah, I'm just following that kind of upwards towards San Antonio. After that, I could also maybe follow this road quite a bit. It's just, you know, quite easy. It's also quite realistic to follow roads because it's easier to get the shite built. So I tend to just follow roads. And then obviously after Houston, then we're going to be going through all the swamps, whatever it is to New Orleans before then we finally head up north. This isn't this isn't taking us as long, it's more when we get into this corn east, where it's gonna probably take quite a bit. But at the same time, we are gonna be a lot of viaducts because of, yeah, trying to cross that. It's like now, we've gone into America and there's a lot of roads everywhere. So I can't really build too much on the ground or like you can see here, it's going to be like a pain in the ass trying to get it all on in. Oh, San Antonio's right here. Okay. I made some good progress here. We tunnel it under the ground. This is telling us how I do it. And what actually I'm going to do, I'm going to just go straight right. Instead of connecting up people up here, I'm going to go straight right because of obviously Austin's up there. So I think in the future, I'll have another route which goes out north of the city. So for now, I'll probably just turn like a sharp right this way. But obviously in the future, I will build more stations up north once I build a route, which probably will go, what, Austin, Houston, oh wait, Dallas is there, maybe Oklahoma City, I could go up to, maybe even further. Right, we're finally in New Orleans, I have kind of gone through the swamp, I have built it on viaducts, because I think in real life, you couldn't really put on the ground, they have to be all probably on viaducts, keep away from all the gators and crap, and obviously through the town, we've also kept it on viaducts, because I don't really think you could build tunnels, in this sort of swampy area around here. We are gonna then go up north, probably go across over here. Right, we have just reached Richmond, which means our next stop is Washington, Philadelphia, New York, which are all very close to each other. Yeah, it hasn't really taken as long as I thought it would, mainly due to we've had to build a lot of viaducts, mainly because of, if you look in close, like, with Europe, you kind of just have the roads. You might have the old river or two, but like here, you have like every little stream in the world. You have so many rivers and roads, and on the roads, you have so many like little bits, which kind of just make it possible. Unless you're gonna follow the actual train tracks, or you're gonna build slow speeds, which what well, obviously high speed this is. This is a high speed network. Yeah, we can't really slow down much. We can't really build it around the road, so we kind of just have to do what we're doing now and just build a massive viaduct. We're getting so close to New York. I have gone outside a bit here with viaduct, but yeah, most of this, almost all of it up here is pretty much just tunnels. We are getting some good populations, like 3,000 there. We've got 85,000. In the city centers, it seems to be quite a bit, but yeah, compared to like South America, there's really, I thought there was going to be a lot more population up here than were coming across. I thought, you know, most of the population would be in America, but apparently not. There we go, 110k. Pretty much the plan is just build a lot of stations on Manhattan, 
It kind of like 262,000. Because the Manhattan seems to have a good amount of people on it. So, again, where should we build another one? We'll build one here. Pretty much the route's going to go straight into Central Park. Because if, yeah, if we can just pick up a lot of this population, like another 200k. You know, we, we should have a good amount going throughout the route. So, like, a lot of them should head south. If we have a couple million up here, hopefully they, you know, travel quite far because that could then add up to a lot of money and there we go we have officially we finally have connected the route all the way from new york all the way down to sao paulo which is going to cost us 65 billion quid most of it is on the ground obviously a lot of advice is, is in north america with in the united states due to all the all that stuff we got uh, all the little rivers and other little roads they go, which can make it possible to go on the ground with high speed. The total, the total tracks is 31 million meters, well, 31.3 millimeters. And you can see here how far that really is on the left there. If I get 80 billion, we should be able to afford this whole thing. So I think I'll see you guys once we get 80 billion in the bank. Well, we have gone 81 billion dollars in the, in the game. Which, um, yeah, to be honest, it's taken me a lot longer than I thought. I think it's taken like an hour and a half, two hours to get 80 billion. <laughs> well, it was technically 60 odd billion because I already had 20. But yeah, it's taken quite a bit to get the money. But now we can finally build the route. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. I was thinking about where I really want to connect it. Because I was thinking, should I have the Central American bit going from the border here? all the way down to Columbia and then have the southern route because I'm not really sure exactly how I want to space it but I think I'll just do from New York to New uh, Mexico City just for now if in the future I think differently I can you know come back in the future off camera and uh, change things up so we're gonna have I think the green in the middle we're gonna have a blue for America and red for South America so let's get going this is probably gonna take a bit to get all the routes up Okay, we're gonna go downtown here, and then we're gonna turn back around. I feel I I feel like there is a way you can like probably manually do this. I feel like there must be a more advanced way on actually doing this because of yeah, doing it this way does take quite a bit because you have to follow the whole track. Could I uh, zoom out like this? No. See, I'm gonna zoom out as far as I can just to speed it up. Yeah, see, I gotta go over back. I feel like there must be a way you can do it quicker, like. Just select here, select there, and be like anything between, stop. So I feel like there must be a more advanced way of doing it, but... Yeah, I guess... For now, I'm just gonna do it this way. It's gonna take quite a bit, obviously, to go through and do them all. Okay, there we go. Wait, there's a hundred stops in total this route takes. That's a, a lot of stops. Okay. Alright, let's get the trains on it. Okay, they look somewhat decently spread out. Obviously, currently... Um, and we're not going to need, I think, too many trains because there's not be that much population. But once we, like, add more stops down here, more up there, there's probably going to be a lot of people tra going through the central of America when you have, like, Los Angeles connected, maybe even, like, San, San Antonio, Antonio down there, uh, Buenos Aires. When you have more cities down south connected and more up north connected, this this central route, I think, is going to be very popular. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of people want to use our route. Right, there we go. There's a hundred down here, we are quite spread apart. I think there's also a lot of people down there. Might have to in the future if you buy more of the south, but yeah, okay. Well, we know the train stops. So let's turn it off quickly. Yeah, when you look at our whole network now, we're getting quite big. Would we really like to connect this up to the uh, Eurasia after Africa somehow? Maybe go across under the sea here. Or I'm thinking of going up and through Greenland and Iceland and back down probably to the UK. Massive tunnel or something like that. Yeah, the next video, I think I am going to connect up Australia. I'm going to do like a Asia uh, Oceania Railway. Let's quickly just do some checks. So if we go to coverage, um, yeah, some power to things. Kind of 9.4 million, so second biggest. Um, New York to Mexico City is 3.7. I'm surprised about Mexico City to Medellin is 3.2. So they are all quite big. That's a total of what, like about 16 million, I think. I think it's around 16 million. Uh, people we've connected over here which is going to be some big money uh and that's what we're going to check next we're going to check the total money earned daily Actually, we probably should wait a day the sao paulo to medellin is making massive stacks of money 
Um, Mexico City to Medellin is also... Actually, wait. If we go to the current day, so then all of them have just started. Yeah, so Palo to Medellin is in third. New York to Mexico City is in fourth. And it looks to be staying. I met City Medellin's in fifth. So literally all the new routes we have created are in the top five. All three of them in the top five. Only Moscow to Seoul and London to Moscow beats um, the three, which is massive. And if we can connect these up to uh, Asia, Europe, and Africa, the amount of people could be moving, especially if we had like Australia, people could go from like Sao Paulo over to like Sydney or something or Melbourne or something. That would be massive amount of money. Even then, if we can go further down South America, that could be some big money. But yeah, I think for today, we're going to end off here. Yeah, I think that's going to be it for today. So if you did enjoy and want to see some more NIMBY Rose in the future, just remember to like, subscribe, and comment. And yeah, I'll see you all next time. So, cheerios.